Good morning, fans of Privateer FX. Ring the bell before we all go to hell. 37.74 the high um, in spoos yesterday. 90, 90 handle up move there. Um, just clipped this high here. At uh, 73. Um, then did a zipper down to 31. And then uh, back up to 70. Tonight, here we are at 63. Rarefied air up here. Um, waiting for confirmation of the turn. That kind of price action is not turn. That's pretty bullish. Uh, to me, I feel like everyone shorts just got squeezed. The picture looks uh, rather unbullish, I have to say. Um, so we'll have to wait for price to confirm. No reason to uh, get our knickers in a little tizzy here till we get back below, say, 36.87. So uh, if you're looking for the high. Fade today, average true range high is going to be 3809. So if you're looking for like a really stretchy fade between 3805 and 15 is your is your number. Gold. Consensus, democratic sweep, dollar gets smoked, gold goes to a trillion, mm, not so much. Gold drops 60 bucks. 1902 bang if you like apples you like that move holy christ we were not involved in this we're just watching it kind of using it as a sort of dictation device for dollar yen back up to 1925 I don't know what to do with gold. That is a fucking bearish day. Jesus. Um, huh. Why did that happen? Mainly because of this. Uh, rates. Let's go to the rate side. So, that's a breakout, people. Gap. Bang. Closed. 182. This thing, um, this thing can do this. So if you look back, uh, 2016, bang, close up. We went from 260 to 320, 60 basis points. So this goes to 230. Easy peasy. Like my favorite Aunt Louise. Short bonds, people. That looks that looks interesting. Um, I think people are short bonds because they're worried about the value of the instrument. I don't think this is inflation. Um, oil, where's oil? Oil's around fifty bucks, surely. Oh no, fifty one oh nine. Oil is a wide, wild fucker as well. Look at this. The end of the night last night. We did some night skiing last night. Oil was at 50.80. Got back from skiing. It was at 49.50. And now we're at 51.08. That's some fucking crazy shit. Um, that's inflationary oil but going back to um, the bonds I don't think this is inflationary here's the tens will the tens get up to 125 yes they will we like ZB better kind of a sexier sexier vehicle uh, short bonds uh, anyway back to currencies uh, euro I don't know Every fix yesterday, they bought dollars, 8 a.m., 9 a.m., and then the, the 
the late afternoon fix, they bought dollars. 76 was the low, 165 was the low. Just tremendous. Respected this trend line. Let's keep an eye on this this line here. This thing breaks. It's kind of changing trend. At 123.17, we're not really talking about the break too much, um, but can turn quickly. Got to see what's going on. Uh, middle of nowhere now, so no position. One chart that we think is interesting is Euro Yen. A lot of highs here. Um, Rocky Mountain High. I don't know that song. Uh, 127.23. I don't know why. One, two, three, four. Four highs. Four hours. Is your yen going to blast off? It might do. Because dollar yen um, might shock the monkey. Dollar yen often does this, right? We have these quiet times. Quiet, 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 quiet. And then bang. It's time to shock the monkey. Long dollar yen. We like this trade. I can't believe it went down to 94 last night. I didn't have bids in. Um, like dollar yen higher. Dollars are um, tickling this trend line. Looks, I'm looking for some consolidation in dollars are today. I don't think this is going to do a zipper um, up to 15.30 yet. But you want to try and buy this, uh, buy some cheapies, maybe 95 down, 95 down to 90. Dollar max, on the other hand, um, broke through 1970. Traded quick 10 handles to 60. Um, the state of Mexico, or the country of Mexico, what kind of state are they in with the Democrats in charge? I think they're in good shape, and I think this is kind of a psychological thing here compared to Trump, um, who was a bully, and some argue a racist, but I'm not sure that's true. I don't really care either. Um, he's yesterday's news. He was mean to Mexico. These guys are going to be nice to Mexico. Better Mexican relations. Dollar Mex might go lower. Um, certainly if you got short yesterday at 70 and you traded for an average, no reason to cut shorts unless it gets back above 75 or so. Um, so this, this is different than the czar chart. In fact, exact opposites. Imagine what Czar Mex has done. Um, but Dollar Mex looks offered. Aussie, no idea what's going on with this. We traded back up to 78.20 again. Neckline on the downside is uh, 77.61. Um, looks better on the hourlies. This thing is bid. Uh, but eventually it's going to turn. It'll probably turn... <clears throat> when stocks turn. So, wait for it. Aussie end, same chart. 80, <clears throat> 80.23 um, is your sort of neckline on the downside, Aussie end. Dollar CAD not doing much. Dollar China also not doing much. They tried and tried and tried Dollar China, but couldn't quite, couldn't quite make it. Still offered. ZB, bang. Are we going to get through <clears throat> 169.12? Surely. Surely we are. Sell ZB. Um, I don't think it's a break trade. Bonds don't trade like that. So you just kind of want to sell high ones and be core short. Everyone's looking for a real shit number on Friday for non-farms. God forbid that comes out okay. 
ZB will get plundered. ZN as well. This is the 10 year. This is the 30. Short ZB. Uh, short, short bonds again. Uh, watching this dollar max on the short side, looking at this level in Euro Yen at 127.23. We like being long dollar Swiss core and long dollar Yen core based on rates. I'm done talking. Have a good trading day, people. Make some dough, I dare you. I'll try and do the same. Talk to you tomorrow. Ciao.